Hi, this is Anthony and welcome to my show. So what in the world's going on with ChargePoint? Back in 2020, I was doing fairly well with SPACs, which are special purpose acquisition companies, and I bought into one called Switchback Energy. It eventually became ChargePoint Holdings, ticker symbol CHPT. I bought in at $31.96 a share on November 23rd, 2020. And as you can see from the chart, that was as it was skyrocketing up very quickly. I was up about $15 a share one month later on Christmas Eve. That was the high and it's been going down ever since. So what's an investor to do? Especially one who bought in over a year ago and is quite underwater now. ChargePoint is an American electric vehicle infrastructure company based in Campbell, California. ChargePoint operates the largest online network of independently owned EV charging stations operating in 14 countries and makes the technology used in it. So quite simply, they make charging stations for electric vehicles, and as more electric vehicles hit the streets, obviously there is more of a need for charging stations. Considering the company, Motley Fool recently posted, investors are focusing more on the macroeconomic picture in 2022, with expectations of future revenue growth being offset by a shift in the Federal Reserve's policy plans to battle inflation. If inflation persists, the value of future revenues and earnings will be hurt. That seems to be driving names like ChargePoint lower. And they continue. This week's stock drop doesn't come with any current news from the company. ChargePoint provides electric fueling networks for commercial, fleet, and residential consumers. It reported 79% year-over-year revenue growth in its recently reported fiscal 2022 third quarter, ended October 31st, 2021. That allowed it to raise revenue guidance for the second time in six months for its full fiscal year. But investors focused more on the bottom line, which showed a growing net loss for the period. ChargePoint is spending more to grow out of its hardware network of charging stations. It hopes that will lead to a growing stream of recurring revenue from its software. The company did report its gross margin grew to 25%, a jump of 500 basis points versus the prior year period. That came from product cost improvements and from acquisition impacts. Investors interested in the stock should enter it with a long-term horizon and the knowledge that it remains speculative. Success will rely both on significant growth in EV demand and on the ability to convert the hardware into reliable recurring revenue. For those with that outlook, the shorter term drop based on the macroeconomic environment might make the recent downtrend look like an appealing entry point. I agree with their assessment. I think that for the short term, there may be a risk for it to go even lower, but in the medium to long term, it should start drifting upward. Electric vehicles, particularly ones which are not Tesla, are certainly being pushed by the Biden administration. And Tesla itself seems to be doing quite well. For full disclosure, I own a handful of shares of Tesla and have done very well with them so far. I think current investors like myself and ChargePoint should hold on and perhaps consider buying more shares at this lower price to decrease your overall cost basis in the stock. For investors not already in ChargePoint, current lows perhaps could be an entry point that might yield better returns than other equity investments in the medium to long term. But please do your research. My investment is not substitute for your own research. If anything, it's just to prompt you to do your own further research. And reading one or two positive articles online about the company is not doing research either. Look at the actual fundamentals of the company. Evaluate for yourself what the likely direction of profit or loss will be. Think about what you believe the future of electric vehicles will be in the United States and what the economy will look like in the future. And remember, ChargePoint also does business in 13 other countries besides the United States. Evaluate as many relevant factors as possible about future profit growth for ChargePoint before you decide to invest in it. Please remember this is not financial or investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just somebody on YouTube providing entertainment. Again, if you like this type of content and want to see more, it would really help me if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, please view my other videos, and if you like them, click the like button. And feel free to leave comments, even if you disagree with me. 
I'm on Instagram at Anthony R. R. Mills. Thanks for watching and good luck with your investments.